Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody, on this Monday, October 14th, 2024. We are here for the WS Display Wall Box Product Information Webinar. Gonna give a couple of more minutes for people to arrive and um, and be a part of today's webinar. We've got a good number of people that are signed up, so looking forward to sharing this information with everybody. A couple of things on the front end, just to let you know, there is both question and answer Q&A uh, features in this webinar, as well as the webinar chat function. So you can use either or, but I think uh, the question and answer window is probably the best one to be able to put in your questions. And uh, we do have that being monitored back at the corporate office. And uh, we can get those answered for you as you ask them. Uh, it's not a short webinar, but uh, I would call it average at best, uh, about 20 slides or so. So, so uh, today we're gonna talk about, once again, the Wallbox product family. And uh, once again, glad uh, that everybody is here today. So uh, let's get started. You know, the, the pillowcase world, of displays is a very interesting one. As we all know, if you've been in the in the game for a while, if you do displays and uh, you deal with uh, silicone edge graphics or you deal with hard panels or central panels or styrene and all the other substrates that go on and are used as displays, one of the easiest ones, in my opinion, to be able to install are these pillowcase wall box style products that we're going to talk about today and what you see there in the slide as the wall box family and we are reintroducing as you see there the new wall box fabric display system it's a portable unlike anything you've ever seen very easy your exhibitors will be in awe of its mighty size and that's really true we've got tall ones and wide ones and small ones and everything in between so it's it's a great mix of products both in the pre-configured and we'll talk about custom today as well uh, today, we'll cover the following, uh, following ones in regards to the complete package offerings, uh, the characteristics of the Wallbox, of course, the standard version of the original Wallbox product. Then we have Wallbox towers, arches that are 16 feet. We have a slim arch uh, that we actually just showed at Printing United. It was very well received. We have a Wallbox with storage. There's a, an anomaly you don't hear a lot about, but then again, you do hear a lot about questions on the idea of storage in a display. We'll talk about that. Graphic information, uh, our manufacturing capabilities, and then, of course, we'll answer the questions and answers as we move along. In general, the characteristics of the construction, we make this out of a 30 millimeter diameter silver anodized tubing. Uh, so the features are 90 degree curved tubular frame corners in our standard configurations. We usually are three-dimensional in the display frame, meaning width, height, and depth. So you'll get the different measurements in those three categories. Important note here is I put my cursor or my uh, arrow up here on the screen. These are true two-size displays. What does that mean? So if you see that a display is 10 foot wide, and 10 foot tall. Those are true edge to edge, outside edge to outside edge measurements. So be sure to notate that when you're talking about going into inline display footprints and particularly where you might be installing this just so you know that uh, when you get to the show or you get to the install, it will be true to size. The depth of the frames provides stability. This is a good note. So you don't require any additional hardware like feet for stability. In general, they're usually at least 12 inches in depth from the back of the frame to the front of the frame, and that footprint size gives you pretty good stability, so you don't need to add any screw-in feet or anything else to uh, create stability for the display. It is tool-free assembly. We all have seen this before via the push-button connection. You've seen them in different types of tents and other products that uh, are swaged like uh, tubing 
that uh, male female insert goes in, a button snaps up, and it makes a mechanical connection. So these are no different in that regard. All the frame hardware is made to order from our Pacific Facility Coast location. So uh, make sure you understand it's coming from that location only. It does not come out of California. It does not come out of our Pennsylvania location. It only comes out from the Pacific Fulfillment uh, Coast Facility. Display pillowcase style graphics with a zipper closure. So if you're familiar with the Easy Extends, Easy Tubes, uh, and those type of products that have the zipper closures, this will be that same type of enclosure for the displays once they are slipped over the frame uh, that you're working with on each display. Good news on this one, it's single and double-sided graphic optioned. So if you want a front face print only, you can have that. The back we'll talk about just a little bit, but it will be solid color. We'll get into that detail a little later in the slides. But uh, we do have both single and double-sided graphic options available unless specified in the description. It is available as a graphic package. Now, if you're new to WS, understand that graphic package means the hardware and the graphics, and in most cases, the bags that are included in this. It includes everything. It is hardware only option as well. And then the graphic only option, which is important if you need reprints for your package down the line for your client. Uh, if you're ordering hardware and using it for rental, good to know you can get the graphic only option as well. All wall boxes are recommended for indoor use only. If you're using outside, make sure it's under a tent. Uh, die sub graphics do not play well with the sun or the rain. So uh, it is suggested that you use this indoor use only. Important, wall box frames can be customized. Now, there's a big movement out there for a lot of clients to say, I like that, but can you do this, this, or this with the wall box frame build? The answer is yes, we can. So basically, we can get your pencil sketches, your renderings, drawings, whatever your conception is, and we can follow that and customize that and build it for you from WS Display. So that is a, a, a note that uh, you definitely want to pay attention to. Uh, the other versions, various versions of the wall box frame are available, back walls, back walls with storage, as we've said, towers, arches, and more options are actually being developed. And as you see there at the bottom of the screen, uh, in most cases, there is that bag available for shipping. Here is your uh, replication of that connection, uh, male-female, where it slides in. You see the button right here that snaps up in the opening at the top of the tube, as you see here in this graphic. It's very easy to operate. The standard wall box. This is a new and updated version of the original wall box. As you notice, and I'm following with the uh, arrow here, this is an eight foot by eight foot tall version of this. And in my opinion, just uh, my experience is if you're using this application in a trade show 10 foot by 10 foot footprint, this slides in perfectly. Uh, you've got a foot on either side to be able to get behind your booth and to store items behind there. And like I said, you have that space on either side where you're not bumping into the pipe and drape uh, and the knee high drape and back wall like you would if you did a 10 by 10 and you'd be pushing those side walls off to the side. So good one to remember. The hardware and graphic dimensions have remained the same. So this is the, the uh, current and original graphics hardware. They will fit each other. So if you've got an old version, this version will fit the old uh, version as far as graphics go from this particular footprint. Hardware construction is a little different, so individual parts from the current and original are not cross-compatible, but the graphics are. Hardware not, graphics yes. It's available in four standard widths. So your 8 foot, 10 foot, 15 foot, and 20 foot, uh, 8 foot tall, as you see, but you also have two standard heights, an 8 and 10. Make sure you know the 10 foot will not work in an inline booth against the rules. Uh, in most shows, you want to stay with that eight foot. But if you're doing a different application, let's say it's retail or point of purchase or somewhere in an island, then this is a good uh, good one to go with. You get a little bit a uh, better bang for your buck, a little tall uh, outreaching reach, maybe a 15 wide, 10 foot tall, makes a big footprint and statement with your graphics. 
Uh, we no longer offer conversion kits like the previous version, but this one does include uh, the wall box travel bag. Like I said, all these include bags when they are stated uh, in the slide. So give you an idea of the eight by eight, the end cap graphic. You can print that in uh, cap as well. A view of the 10 by eight and then without the graphic gives you the hardware look. 15 by eight gives you a little wider one. Like if you're, let's say for trade show, you've got a 20 by uh, 10 by 20 setup. You could use this one and still have two and a half feet on either side. Maybe put some other items on either side of the wall box for that. You do have a 20 foot by eight foot uh, and this is an example, if you use this in the 20 foot inline setup for trade show, you'll be bumping those side pipes. So make sure you would use this in a non-restrictive area uh, where you don't uh, have a problem in setting that up. You can set that up on uh, islands and in other applications. Once again, I'm speaking trade show alone, if you're in retail, point of purchase, uh, POP and so forth, you can use that wherever you'd like. Towers are always a nice addition to a display and making a printed statement um, on corners or uh, on the show floor, wherever your event is at. Our tower version has two standard widths, as you see there, two foot wide, as well as three foot wide uh, in the description, and then two standard heights, which is eight foot and 10 foot tall. This also comes in graphic packages. That's hardware and graphics as well. Hardware only uh, but they do include the travel bag uh, for ease of transport. Uh, note the wall box tower hardware and graphics are not compatible with Easy Tower fabric displays. That is another tower that we sell known as the Easy Tower display. It is a different set of construction hardware pieces. And so these are not interchangeable. These are standalone. Make sure you don't confuse those two. But uh, when you're on the website, I'm sure it's very well explained. And uh, if you have any questions, just let your customer service representative uh, know. And a couple of views here of the two foot by eight foot tall, and then your two foot by 10 foot tall. This is the reinforced struts in the middle. I like that. Keeps it from when you slide that over and zip it up, it keeps the uniformity there uh, across the hardware and across the display structure. So it looks smooth. And then you've got uh, the wall box tower that's three foot by eight, so a foot wider. Uh, on the width and then three by 10. And then of course we replicate that over here on this side. This is uh, one of my favorites. I feel that the wall box arch, the 16 foot meaning um, it's 16 wide, gives you a great, fast, easy setup for any kind of experiential fast up and down event. Uh, gives you an, an entrance way into it without having to build and recreate with a heavy structure. Um, you know, you snap the tubes together like you see here. Uh, you're 10 foot wide in the opening, so you've got plenty of entrance room. You're eight foot tall uh, from floor to the ceiling of the bottom of the arch. Uh, and then you've got these tubular sides on either side, and you're two foot deep. Uh, on inside and outside of that structure. Great product uh, to give you a great easy up entrance way. Comes with a bag, so easy uh, portable of, for that, uh, shown there in the bottom. And then of course, uh, the, the alert, we like to say, I and we would recommend that you have two people to set this up. You can do it by yourself, but you're going to lose your mind and a couple of other things, uh, patience and everything else might be your temper uh, because you got to stretch it over here and stretch it over there. Two people set this up very easily working together to get it up. And as you see there above that front back end caps and the bottom side of the archway are all printed. So you have graphic capabilities all the way around this and the infamous travel bag is available in this product as well. Great product for consideration. Another couple of views here, the front view, hardware view only, it gives you a side view there of the printability uh, of that side cap uh, to give you a branding opportunity there. Now, this is the one we actually, I mentioned, we showed at uh, Printing United just recently, a few weeks ago. It's called the Wallbox Arch Slim. That replicates what you just saw, but it's just a little easier to set up, faster uh, and thinner. 
So your uh, smaller uh, tubular archway, it's 12 foot wide versus the 16 foot, 10 foot in height. So you don't have a, a lower measurement you have to work with and four foot in depth. So you've even got a, a wider footprint for stability. Fully printed graphic wrap all the way around, front and back. So if you want the sides printed uh, inside and outside, you can. Uh, at Printing United, we have put WS in the top underneath. So you saw that going into the booth. Uh, it was a very uh, nice way to get a very cost-effective uh, arch slim entrance way. Two people, once again, to set it up. Those are your dimensions. It's a nice, easy, cost-effective way to get an entrance way uh, offering for your clients. And then here's that top <clears throat> overhead view and the side again, where it shows you got plenty of footprint there for graphic printing and uh, advertisement and, and whatever you would like to place uh, on the graphics for that. Another great product that we've come out with, we've called this wall box storage unit. Um, Every display out there seems to always ask, where do I put my stuff? Okay, whether it's uh, catalog, swag, uh, personal items, your, your laptop bags, your whatever you need to get off of the show floor and put away uh, while you're working an event, uh, you're always concerned about that. So we've created what we call a wall box storage unit. It's 10 foot display and it has built in storage areas on the left, on the right, and an option in the center. Your display uh, dimensions, so you can see that's 10 foot wide, it's uh, 90 uh, inches tall, 48 deep, four foot deep here on the end, so that's good. You've got good stability there. Um, the hardware is the same for both right or left storage. You just need to flip from one side to the other, and then of course, address your graphic needs accordingly. Uh, your storage area is accessed via a zipper on the front face of the graphic. So you have a zipper there that you can unzip and get inside and have access to it. It does include the wall box travel bag. And there are more storage configurations that are being worked on as we speak. Here's a, a hardware only view of this. So you see the left side over here has the storage we talked about. Right side over here and center. Now that might look a little weird, but actually you'll see just a minute while that is advantageous uh, to have. And then of course the bag is here on the bottom. So let's get into a couple of dimensions here, 48 deep with the storage. That's the side with the storage, 20 inches deep with the non-storage side. That's still pretty deep for a, a tubular structure for stability, 48 inches with the additional storage. Uh, 90 inches in height, uh, 20 inches in depth, 28 from the crease here, the 90 degree bend out to the edge. And then you have a zipper that zips from the bottom up to open this. We'll show you an example of that in just a second. But uh, this is what the right side storage would look like, obviously. Storage areas are located on either side and zip on the front face of the graphic. It opens from the bottom up, as I mentioned, starting from the corner where the main front graphic meets the storage area and runs along the bottom, uh, along the end cap seam. Important, you never think about this, so I'm going to save you some time. The zipper color is white, so keep that in mind when you're designing graphics. What do I mean? Well, if you're using these deep, rich, dark colors that are very popular these days, right in the middle, you're going to have a white zipper. So you're pretty much going to have to buy a, uh, a can of Krylon and, you know, spray paint your zipper, maybe Sharpie it to get it dark, uh, or you'll have a, a nice little white highlight and you can design around it. But uh, it is white. Uh, I think your zippers come in white, white, and white. So just keep that in mind when you're uh, designing that. Love this one right here, and I'll tell you why. This is center storage, as you can tell. This side flap is where it opens and you can have access into it. What I like about this is if I unzip this and I have two feet to step in, I can use my left and my right side of the display in order to stack up boxes, put in swag, put in some bags, whatever I want to put in there uh, to store and then pull out as I need it during the event. That's a nice a way to access that and zip it right back up and you're back to showing your graphics again. So this is an example 
with your dimensions, <clears throat> excuse me, four, 48 inches back of the uh, display to the front where the curve is, and, or the flat graphic going down, 20 inches wide, 24 deep, two feet deep, both on the ends and your door uh, that leads into their storage area. Uh, zipper opens from the bottom up, as we mentioned before, and keep in mind that that zipper is white. Let's talk a little bit about graphics. You have two that you uh, work with here, and that's stretch fabric. Uh, that's, of course, what we use to stretch and use to pillowcase over uh, the, the structure. And uh, the, all the printed areas will be single-sided, white back, top fabric. And then if it is a single-sided um, application where your graphic is stretched and you need a, a block out, it will be a black back fabric. So two to come into play here. If it's printed all the way around, you'll just be using the stretch fabric, fab stretch rather. And then you've got a black blocker in case you need that. It is transfer dice up printing. Uh, pillow case graphic finishing with a number 10 zipper closure, if you keep it count at home. Pretty sturdy industrial zipper. And it is, once again, uh, just reiterating that it is currently produced in our uh, Pacific Fulfillment Coast facility only. Here are the, the, the equipment that we use, bending, swaging, and uh, chamfering. Bleed chamfering is uh, the correct pronunciation for that, cleaning up the ends of the tube. So we have all of this money invested in this for in-house tube frame production. All walk, wall box uh, hardware is produced in our facility at PFC. Hardware is made to order. So we do not keep ready stock on hand. So there's good to that. So if there's something that's broke, we can, you know, make that piece and replace it. That's the upside for that. And our customization options include increased or decreased width, height, depth, storage area placement, as well as custom frame configuration. Our in-house tube production process includes tube cutting, 90 degree tube bending, tube reducing and swaging. That's your uh, reducing one end in order to fit into male-female to the other side and then snap the button accordingly to make the mechanical connection and drilling and punching for the spring buttons as well as cleaning up the edges after cutting. So custom sizing and custom configurations are available on a case-by-case -case scenario. We just need to talk with you about what you are looking for. So that is a quick pass-through of the Wallbox family and the Wallbox products. Um, as you see there, you can always reach out to me at mike at wsdisplay.com with any questions uh, about that product or any of our other custom products for that matter.